Yo, what's up, YouTube? Gary, we're back again. Just another fan TV uh, with another video uh, with some news about James Bradbury, man. But first, I just want to say um, thanks to y'all who are watching these videos. I enjoy making them. So just don't forget, man, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to keep pushing this out. So once again, thank you guys who are watching the videos. And, uh, man, you can share them anywhere on social media, you know, just to get the channel going. So I appreciate y'all. All right. James Bradbury has signed a one-year deal with the um, Philadelphia Eagles, man. So he, he stays in the NFC East, which was kind of a rumor all along that he was going to stay probably within the division with the Eagles kind of being the most likely uh, landing spot for him. Um, but the Ravens, we, we wanted him. As, as Ravens fans, I know I personally wanted James Bradbury. Um, so the Ravens kind of missed out is kind of harsh because we don't know if they even wanted these guys, but... Landry was one guy Ravens fans wanted. I wasn't so much on Jarvis Landry like that. But James Bradbury was a guy that I really thought could help the Ravens out. So now he's a, he's a Philadelphia Eagle, man. One year, $10 million. So initially, he got cut from the Giants to save $10 million. So the Eagles pretty much give him that money back. Um, looking at the contracts from Schefter, the details. One year, $7.5 million base. Uh, looks like, I guess, a performance in uh bonuses and incentive based stuff like that it can go up to 10 million so seven and a half base 2.5 in the incentives incentives excuse me and performance bonuses all right uh apparently he had 11 teams that were interested in him Ravens were probably one out of 11 if i had to guess they probably were and then the price just got too high i mean i would imagine that the Ravens look at their roster and know that while we have a good secondary, we do need some depth at corner. Um, but so the, the tweet from Schefter says James Bradbury initially had 11 teams reach out. His agent whittled it down to three teams and eventually he chose the Eagles over the others. So what I'll take from that is 11 teams reached out. Eight came with probably offers that were too low in terms of money. And the other three probably had offers in the same similar ballpark. And he chose the team he wanted to play for. So, hey, man, good for the Eagles fans. Y'all are having a heck of an offseason. Um, shout out to y'all. I had a heck of a draft. I mean, let's, I mean, I just want to look at what the Eagles did. A.J. Brown, Hassan Reddick, James Bradbury, Jordan Davis in the draft, N'Kobe Dean in the draft. They had a really, really good offseason so far. Now, the only question is, it's on Jalen Hurts, man. What does Jalen Hurts have in his locker? Because, listen, I want Jalen Hurts to be successful, but his arm strength kind of scares me, man. I feel like pushing that ball down the field is where he could lack a little bit. But if he can get that rectified, I mean, we've seen Tom Brady up his arm strength, you know, going into year 22 or whatever year he's on now. Uh, so he get that rectified. He has the weapons in place. They have a good defense in place. They should be challenging for that division. The Cowboys really didn't get better this offseason. And the Eagles for certainly got better this offseason. The Commanders, Carson Wentz, we'll see what he does. And the Giants, the team Bradbury just left. They're still in rebuild mode. They're still trying to figure out whether or not Daniel Jones is their guy. So shout out to the Eagles. Y'all had a really, really good offseason. Hopefully, y'all turn that into a good season. Um... I'm going to be looking out for that. You know, I, I do like watching the Eagles play back, even back from when it was McNabb and T.O. So, you know, shout out to the Eagles. Shout out to y'all. Um, but for the Ravens, um, it's a little disappointing. I'm not going to lie. But I, I mentioned this in the James Bradbury video that he was going to be highly coveted. And there was potential that with that with him being coveted that way, the Ravens could be priced out. And they probably were priced out where one year, $10 million, just because the Ravens want to do probably a multi-year deal so they can stretch that cap number out and not just get you here one mil ten, one year, ten, uh, $10 million. They don't want to do that. Um, so Bradbury probably said, hey, look, I'm going to get my one-year deal here, make my money, hit my incentives, get that full $10 million, and then come back out next season on, on, on this open market. I mean, we see the contracts cornerbacks are getting, man. Jair Alexander just got $84 million. Great player. Not saying he don't deserve it. Excuse me, uh, $21 million per. So James Bradbury had a look at that and said, okay, if I ball out this year, get on the market next year, I'm only going to be 29. Still got one more good contract in me. 
Uh, let's let's get this money. So, like I, once again, shout out to the Eagles, uh, Ravens fans. We'll see what happens with the cornerback position. I'm a, I'm a slightly worried about it. Uh, that's probably a vet that they're going to get, kind of like how they signed Vince Beagle uh, at linebacker. You know, somebody who's just a camp body rotational kind of piece. I know that does that. That doesn't um, put put aside our worries, but you know, we'll see. So. Ravens still have a really good roster. Still have a really, really good defense, a really good offense. So, James Bradbury would have helped. It is what it is at this point. But anyway, it's your boy Gabriel. This is on the Fan TV. I'm out.